Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp. And I got a quick video for you. And I want to go into this uh, well known scripture. Well known amongst us, <clears throat> the teachers, and uh, in particular, I'm talking about GMS, Jeremiah 14 and 2. All right. Now, before I get into the, uh, going to the verse, what uh, gave me the idea to do this video was watching the uh, the apostles uh, street speaking this past uh, Saturday. And they were going into how, you know, Christianity is, is paganism and how Christians are so stupid, you know. And it made me, uh, that gave me the idea to do this video. It made me want to focus in on us, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, the ones that are still in the stupor of Christianity, wacky tacky Christianity. And he really stupid as hell. And uh it's scriptural. Okay? That Israel Israelites are um or, and then this, you know, when not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and conducting themselves accordingly, there's they're stupid. All right? Because if you're keeping um, celebrating these these holidays and you and you're into Christianity, that means you're stupid. If you celebrate Easter, that means you're stupid. Most people that have been in the church understand that um, been in the church since you know from a young age up until an adult understands that. Easter is supposed to be a commemoration of the Lord who they ignorantly know as Jesus. His true name is Jehoshai, rising not on the third day, but he's really after the third day. And they don't understand after the third day, but on the, uh, the you know, rising, the rising of the Lord. They not even, uh, they don't even, they don't even, I can almost bet. They don't even know that in the scriptures it say he was supposed to be, you know, um, buried for three days, 72 hours, then rise. Okay. But it's, they understand the three day concept. It was three days he was in the ground and he rose. Okay. And uh, you, you don't get three days from Saturday. I'm sorry, from Friday. To Sunday as the apostles have uh, been going into. Neither uh, does the scripture tell you to celebrate or commemorate that. It's not in the scriptures. You don't see examples of the apostles doing it because it's not in there. Yahweh Shai never gave a commandment to, to celebrate me rising from the uh, or commemorate me rising from the uh, from the dead, so to speak. The resur resurrection. Uh, it does say to keep the Passover and to keep the high holy days. Okay. It doesn't say to celebrate his birthday either. That's not. It's just not in the scriptures. If it was in the scriptures, we would do it. But you so-called Christians, you don't ask questions. You don't think. You just stay in this stupefied state. And especially uh, Jake. Esau, yeah, fuck Esau. He's stupid, any guy. He, he's stupid. He pollutes the, the, the same air he has to breathe, the same water he has to drink. The only reason Esau has any wisdom is because the Most High lifted him up with... with uh, 
with un with a certain level of understanding. Okay? But it's it's a known fact that Edomites are easily influenced. And we've all been around and we've seen it. I personally, you know, can speak on my experience being around Edomites. You can get them to do the most stupid shit on the planet. Jump, climbing mountains and jumping out of planes. That don't make sound sense. It don't make sense to do those type of things. So if Esau and other nations but dealing with Jake, Jake get all, then got all into this, this westernized way of living, Christianity, and uh, they love it so to the point where they are in a, a, a stupor. They're stupefied. Okay? And uh, a lot of it has to do with Esau. He's dumb this society down. He's programmed the people to be dumb. And Jake has got it the worst. You know? Now let's get into this scripture. This Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. Now the way you know the heavenly father and his son is through obedience. And we, we, uh, we, uh, what do we measure obedience by? By the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay. And it's law to believe in Yahweh Shai. And I can prove that. Give me a second to find the scripture. All right, so I um, found the scripture. This is 1 John chapter 3, verse 23. It says, and this is his commandment. Well, let me, uh, let me start at verse 22. This is 1 John 3 and 22. It says, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him. Talking about of Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly, ignorantly called Jesus. Because we keep his commandments. Check that out. Let me read that again. It says, and whose, I'm sorry, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments. Yeah, the main commandment that we are to keep, and it's really for the uh the prophets, is to teach. Is to uh go out and teach to the to teach. And I'll just leave it at that. That's why he stressed basically three times to Peter in John the 21st chapter about feeding feeding the, uh, the lambs in other words teaching teaching the, the lambs or the, the lost sheep of Israel in other words it says and do those things that are pleasing in his sight what's pleasing in the sight of our heavenly father and his son uh, obedience through keeping the law statutes and commandments all right and like I said, believing in Yahawashai is uh, believing. It means believing in the whole book with understanding. Because you really can't believe in something you don't understand. That's why people don't, they really don't believe in, uh, they really don't believe in the Most High and His Son. They believe in the so-called white man. The God of this world. Esau. First John 3 and 23. And this is his commandment. Check it out. Because it says right here in this verse. You know. Whatsoever we ask we receive of him. Because we keep his commandments. Then it goes down here. It says and this is his commandment. That we should believe. On the name of his his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and love one another as he gave us a commandment. And we know that love, according to John, what is it, John 6? I'm sorry, 1 John 6. It is um, 2 John 6. Shame on me. It's keeping... Um, Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments.
Right. So we know that's what love is. It's keeping commandments, commandments. And it's a commandment to teach. It's a commandment to believe on the, on the name. I'm reading it right here, the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. Well, let's go back to Jeremiah 4 and 22. Now, I was making the point of how you how we know uh, the Heavenly Father and His Son. And it's through keeping the commandments. That's how we get to know. Like, if you, for an example, if you want to get to know somebody, <laughs> you got to uh, spend time with them. Yeah, and then you learn and you learn about them. You learn how they think, what they like to do, what's pleasing onto them, what's displeasing onto them. Right? So the same thing with the Heavenly Father and His Son. The way we get to know them is through the law, statutes, and commandments, because that tells us the mindset of the Heavenly Father and His Son. What they're about. Okay? Uh, what's pleasing onto them, what's displeasing. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show that too. And I get back to I didn't know I was gonna go into these this point, but I'm gonna uh go ahead and get it. Go to Amos. Well, I'm gonna get into it a little bit. And I'm gonna get get the uh scriptures to back it up. Amos three and one. Amos 3 and 1, it says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So what is that telling us? How What makes Israel different from the other nations? The fact that the Most High gave us the law, statutes, and commandments to follow um of a way of how we should conduct ourselves on the earth. The laws was put, given to us to give us direction and guidance on how to live our life on this planet earth. It says, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. And I'm gonna further prove that that's how the most high only known the, Israelite, uh, the Israelites and how back in Jeremiah 4 and 22, it says they have not known me. Why? Because of disobedience. That's why disobedience from the law, statutes and commandments. And, in, and instead of following that, which is that's how you get order, balance, justice, peace, prosperity, all these things. You get them. I'll say it again. Peace, prosperity, justice. Balance is justice. Okay. You get it through the through the law, statutes, and commandments of the of the scriptures. And when you break away from that, now you you're being stupid. And we're gonna get into that too. Uh let's go here to Hebrews 8. I could have went to Jeremiah 31, but I'm going to Hebrews 8. And uh, I'm going to get straight to the point. Going into the new covenant, right? So it tells us if we read up uh, that the new covenant is the most high putting the laws in our writing the laws in our mind and in our heart let me go ahead and read it okay <laughs> let me read it hebrews 8 and 8 for finding fault with them he said behold the days come said the lord when i will make a new covenant with the house of israel and with the house of judah because the kingdom was split okay the house of israel is talking about the so-called latin tribes okay Ephraim through Issachar and Judah is talking about the so-called Negroid tribes. Um, Judah through uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. 
Then you got Ephraim, Gad, Manasseh, Naphtali, Simeon, so forth and so on through the rest of the the uh, the house of Israel because of the split, right? Hebrews 8, 9, it says, not according to the covenant that I made with their father in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continue not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, said the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. Now it's saying the house of Israel is talking about Israel coming back to get uh, together. The whole house, meaning the whole house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a power and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord. Look, let me let me show you about the Lord. Let me get you familiar with, with our father and, and his son. Okay, going back to Jeremiah 4 and 22, it said they have not known me. It's going back, it's dealing with the law, statutes, and commandments, then breaking them, or us, you know what I'm saying, us breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, so it's letting you know through teaching the laws, uh, that's how you know the Heavenly Father, or learn teaching and learning the laws. Is how you know to get to know the heavenly father and his son. But when we get the new covenant, we're not going to have to teach every man his neighbor and every every man his neighbor and every uh, brother. And every man, his brother, I'm sorry. Saying no to Lord, meaning teaching them the, the law, statutes and commandments for all shall know me. From the least to the greatest. Why? Because we're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments programmed in us. Now, uh, back in... Okay, I was damn, I was there. Jeremiah 4.22. Let's get through it. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Again, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. Just went into that. What that's dealing with. It says, they are sottish children. They have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, Jay can do all this wickedness and they'll get creative and uh, acrobatic when it comes to wickedness. All right, but to do the, to, to which is stupid, because you know why? You get bad results out of that. You really get judged by the heavenly. We're getting judged by the most high. In the form of when you go and do stupid shit and evil, bad things happen. In many different ways. So it really was a. And then when it happens, you go and do Jake, do that, do stupid shit. You even say, damn, I was being stupid. That was stupid of me. When you follow the law, statutes and commandments. Um. For example, keeping I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the high holy days, keeping the Passover, keeping the feast of first fruits, the feast of uh, uh, tabernacles, so forth and so on. That's a wise thing to do. There's understanding in that. There's no understanding in in Easter. It don't even add up. It don't make sense. Neither does Christmas. To use them two so-called holidays as prime examples. Of doing evil. You know. Um, and it says. They are sottish children. They have none understanding. Yeah let's go into this word sottish. Sottish. And this is off of the dictionary.com. I like the definition they gave. It says stupefied. With. Or as if with drink. Drunken. And that, that goes back to the point I made earlier about really this stupid mindset of our people 
comes from being dumbed down in this society. This society that we, this westernized way of life, uh, it stupefies you. It makes you dumb. It makes you celebrate Easter and Christmas that makes no, which makes no sense. But you don't need sense in this place. Babylon the Great. This place is not about making sense. It's about doing what you want to do. Thinking you, you know, you're doing, you know, having that mind, I'm going to do what I want to do. Even though he already set the stage for the, all the different options of things you can do. Talking about Esau. Okay. Right. This, this, um, horrible culture over here on the Western side of the world. It, uh, it teaches you not to think at all. Or how to, it teaches you how to think, which is not to think. Don't even think about it. Just do it. It don't have to make sense. Just do it. Fuck the results. Just do it. If you feel a certain type of way about something, just do it. Drunken. That drunken uh, comes, that's the wine. Esau's wine. That's why Jake is so stupid. All in the evil shit. All in the with no one dealing with no understanding because they've been saturated, indoctrinated with Esau's wine, which is Christianity, democracy, the abominable acronym, so forth and so on. The makeup of this system, the, the common denominator uh ideas that we all would talk. Now, what I what I want to do is I want to show you something. I'm gonna go right here. Uh oh, not there. And I'm gonna type in stupid. So this is the definition. This is the definition they give for stupid. And check this out. It says lacking ordinary and ordinary goes back to uh, order, if I'm not mistaken. Lacking ordinary quickness and keenness of mind. You see that dull, dull minded. So Jake mind, instead of it being in order, the way you know that your mind is in order is when you follow the scriptures and according to understanding. Okay. Knowing that if you if you were uh, uh, not being stupid is saying is reading and finding Easter in the Bible and then looking the word up. Well, what is Easter all about? Let me look into what this is. And then you'll find out on that that word uh, in the New Testament was that uh, Acts 12 and 4, if I'm not mistaken. When you see the, the only time you're going to see the word Easter, you'll see, and you look it up, it goes back to the Greek word Pesach, or Pesach, uh, Pesach, Pesach, I think it said, that's how you pronounce it. It's tell you that it's talking about the Passover. Now, if you look up Easter, like uh, from a historical standpoint, just researching the Easter, the custom, you'll find out that it's nothing more than paganism. That is not scriptural. Okay? Make sure I'm right on that. Um... Yeah, Acts 12 and 4. I just want to make sure I was calling the right scripture. But but instead, our people, they don't like to read. And we get uh, that kind of that, uh, mentality has been really passed down through the generations. All right. Um, they're not into researching anything that... Uh, 
that can benefit them really unless they can see a um, a corruptible crown as the reward okay meaning they'll go for an example like mike tyson i use mike tyson for an example mike tyson studied and didn't mean the other way he did his research and is studying on boxing because uh, he could see the the corner reward or the corruptible crown being the, the heavyweight champion of the world that was in his mind one day i'm gonna be the heavyweight champion of the world you see so that goes for whatever jake may be into they'll do some research and some studying if they can see a a, a reward on this earth that's going to ben benefit them with uh clout and and money status and, and money all right now to not be sottish or stupid your mind needs to uh be working in its ordinary in an ordinary fashion in order in other words without the the uh which you get that from the scriptures so without that you're lacking ordinary quickness and keenness of mind and you can tell jake playing out this information they still like oh, oh, oh i don't know stupid as hell man straight up so i'm gonna end the video right there lord willing it was edifying, and until the next one, I say shalom.